Now, this is a debate that's just as big as Apple versus PC, right? And that debate is, should you start a specific niche store or should you start a generic store? So let me explain the two and then I'll give you my personal opinion on them and tell you what I do exactly. Um, a generic store is a store on Amazon that sells multiple different SKUs and ASINs in different different um, categories and subcategories. So for instance, you may have a tripod and you may have lotion and then you may have socks and then a, a drawer organizer and all these random products. And the goal is just to build up a large portfolio of performing SKUs. Now, the next is going to be niche specific or a branded store, which is where you look for a seed or a introductory or a parent product. For instance, a tripod, right? Now, if you look at the tripod, your next product may be a tripod bag and then a camera stand and then lights. So you're going after that industry kind of like Neewer did, right? So that's a niche specific where you're trying to become the next Apple or the next Beats by Dre and you're going specific after a category or subcategory. Now, quick disclaimer, there is no rhyme or reason or right or wrong way. There's none that's better than the other. There's none that you should do. This is all up to you and specifically what you want to do. I can tell you my personal opinion, what I think is the best is going with a niche specific store. All of my stores are niche specific and that's kind of what I teach and what I recommend. I found that companies get higher valuations. I found that it's easier to scale and grow. I've also found that it is more sustainable just for my personal research testing with my own stuff and the thousands of students that we have across the globe, right? I feel like it's easier to add additional products because once you get into a category or subcategory, you introduce, you're introduced to a supplier, you launch that product, you're crushing it. Now you have access to a catalog, you have access to multiple different products, and these products are gonna be complementary so they can piggyback and they can cross promote, especially when you become trademarked and you unlock enhanced brand content or A plus content, we previously talked about in another video where you can literally add your different ASINs and your different SKUs on that listing. And now what'll happen is Amazon will start to advertise it as frequently bought together, which is very important. That's a whole nother thing. So that's my two cents on the two. And that's my personal opinion on what I think about the two different ones. Check out more videos on my YouTube channel at Joshua Crisp on YouTube. There's over a hundred plus videos similar to this in all around entrepreneurship. And for 50% off all services as well as softwares that AMZ Hunter offers, make sure you check out www.amzhunter.com and use promo code HUNTER50.